Bitcoin on the charts. Nothing more than a story, a story of numbers being written before our eyes, offering us clues, these numbers, things that we can anticipate for the next move for Bitcoin. Are you watching? What is up, everyone? Thanks for coming by Crypto Capital Venture. Hit the subscribe on the way in. Let's jump into the video. Are you watching? Are you watching the clues? If you just look at this chart, all I see, I guess, at the surface level is some crazy candles and some crazy looking squares. But to me, it kind of is art. And I'm going to talk about these squares or these rectangles and what they mean for anticipating the next Bitcoin move because we are at a very critical level. This is all based on Fibonacci retracement. Many of you probably hear me talking about that all the time. I want to give a quick, you know, 30 second, one minute background into what Fibonacci even is. First off, Leonardo Fibonacci, the 12th century. He's one of the most influential mathematicians in the history of the world. So as Fibonacci's work can be used to describe many aspects of the world which surrounds us, it can also be used to make sense of the currency markets. Many aspects of the world. Fibonacci's numbers, you can see this picture here. It's like a picture of a drawing of art. It, Fibonacci numbers apply to that, the world around us and art, music. The most important number or ratio is the 618 or 61.8% levels. And you hear me talking about that all the time. So that is a very, very brief history of Fibonacci, but that's where we get it from. It's numbers. It is data kind of retracing to a certain point over and over again. And it is harmonious. And the same thing applies to numbers on these charts. So here's the story being written in real time right now. This is zoomed out on the daily. Like back here, this is last summer. So you kind of get a sense of time frame now. But we have some really key Fibonacci retracements. And the thing that's cool about Fibonacci retracements is Bitcoin over and over is so consistent with revisiting these areas, testing support and resistance, and then giving us confirmation. At the end of the day, that's what we're looking for, everybody, is confirmation. Do we get the support? Do we get the resistance? Does Bitcoin break through these channels? So I want to break down the picture that you see on this, uh, this screen. So I want to start with this. We have two kind of very macro Fibonacci retracements. There is a bearish at the bottom of the screen right here. That's that's a Fibonacci retracement and there's a bullish up here. So what we're looking at here is this. If we zoom all the way out on the charts now, we have a Fibonacci retracement from the swing high and bull market, which I always talk about. That is the bull market doors. You can see that is up here, the 618 to 786, a macro Fibonacci retracement channel. And then we have the bear market low to our swing high in last summer. And we have a Fibonacci channel down here. And this is 72 to around $5,300. So those are, that's a bearish Fibonacci on the macro, uh, macro scale, right? So those are two kind of long-term, we're, we're seeing if, if Bitcoin is gonna revisit one of those. It will revisit one of these. The question is, which one? And if we're trying to figure out which one, then we zoom in and we look at smaller time frame. Fibonacci retracement channels. So here's where things get critical because now we're analyzing what is Bitcoin currently doing here, really between 12,500 and 9,800. Pretty small range in terms of Bitcoin, right? Um, so here, here are Fibonacci's that we're watching now. So number one, we have a Fibonacci retracement from the swing low that we had back in end of June to our previous swing high. We made a run for 12,000 plus. Here's our Fibonacci retracement, which we've retraced to in real time, currently seeing support at the 618. So let me get rid of this Fibonacci retracement so you can see more clearly. So this upper trend line right here is the 618 that Bitcoin is currently testing. You can see we fell into the range. We didn't quite test the 786, but Bitcoin retraced. And it really is so consistent with, with, with what Bitcoin does. Now we're looking for confirmation. Is Bitcoin going to bounce off of this range or are we going to get bearish confirmation and, bear, and Bitcoin breaks through? So it's pretty simple to just wait 
for that confirmation as long as you have the patience to play it out because we're not talking about a four hour chart or like an hourly chart here. This is a daily chart. We have to wait and watch and see what happens. Uh, so that is that Fibonacci. That is kind of the, the support type of Fibonacci. And then we have our swing high at 12,500 to the current swing low Fibonacci. And now we have our resistance Fibonacci retracement. I did a prediction video the other day and it was basically based on this channel predicting and saying, I think Bitcoin, because it does so often in its consistency, I think Bitcoin will revisit this channel, test it for resistance, right? And then from there we wait for what's our confirmation? Are we getting a bearish confirmation where we bounce off of that area and we see resistance? Or are we gonna get a bullish confirmation if Bitcoin makes it up into this area, a breakthrough the Fibonacci retracement? That is a portrayal of bullish continuation for Bitcoin. And it's simply just bullish confirmation. And so this is the very critical area that we're waiting to see what plays out. You know, is this is this bottom line Fibonacci channel, right, that we're seeing support at right now going to fail for bearish confirmation? Or are we going to get a break to the upside and test this Fibonacci retracement? What's really interesting to me about all of this is confluent with this. You see this rectangle here. Confluent with everything happening right now, we can zoom out on the daily chart and we can take our swing high back last summer to our swing low in March. And you can see there's another Fibonacci retracement, Bitcoin currently testing right now. And this is the most critical, I would say, of all critical, because you can see we saw exact resistance at the 786, the upper trend line uh, of this Fibonacci retracement. We've come back down recently and we've seen support at the 618. This is a channel. This is like the mini bull market doors. If Bitcoin's going to make it to the main bull market doors, Bitcoin has to break this entire Fibonacci channel. It's very simple. Swing high last summer, March swing low on the macro charts, back to the Fibonacci. We must break this area. It is the biggest area to watch, and I just love that we are trading within it right now as I do this video. So again, this is a daily chart. This isn't zoomed in. We need some patience, right? We could have got very bullish here at this line of this Fibonacci retracement, but Bitcoin failed to break and get extension away. And we've come back down and we've tested this bottom line of the Fibonacci retracement. So what will Bitcoin do next? Obviously we can watch the six hour charts. We have this descending channel we've been talking about. There's a breakout target right around 11% from where Bitcoin's trading right now. It's only around a 6% move. It could happen quick. Uh, that doesn't mean anything that significant, but Bitcoin could be on its way to breaking up to that Fibonacci channel that we talked about because $11,000 is right around here on the daily. Again, on the way up to this channel, we have the 50 moving average, a key area Bitcoin needs to break currently around 11,200, 11,300. A thousand dollar move for Bitcoin right now could be the start of something bullish. But again, this is the channel Bitcoin would need to break. Uh, to get that bullish confirmation. So this is kind of that little history on the Fibonacci retracement. I talk about Fibonacci retracement, I feel like almost in every video. And that is why I give you a brief history of the Fibonacci retracement. I'll put a link uh, below. This is a Forex website, but it really does a good job of explaining Fibonacci retracement. And you can just see even in this picture, this picture, the lines returning over and over, right? To certain areas to create pretty harmonious looking picture and Bitcoin often doing the same exact thing. Let me know your thoughts. Do you like this Fibonacci retracement tool? It's one of my favorites. It requires a little patience on these macro charts, but that's all good. We have patience. Hit the subscribe if you're not a subscriber. I appreciate you coming by, cruising by. Have an awesome Saturday, an awesome weekend. I'll see you in the next video. God bless.